Hi, I'm Chris Hansen. I'm a naval architect with the Navy, and I'll be your sea purse instructor today. This pile of parts that I have in front of me will be your sea perch by the time we're done with the build. Uh, we will walk through step by step building the frame, the motors, the control box, and uh, when we're done, each and every one will have an operational sea perch. All right, when you open your kits, I'm going to walk you through the parts you should find inside. Should be a length of Cat5 cable. This will be used as your tether for your vehicle. You should have two styrofoam floats of matching or different colors. Should have some mesh screening. This will be the bottom of your vehicle. Should have a series of PVC fittings. You should have four T's and ten angles. And a series of pipe, which we will cut later in the process. You should have three propellers, three shafts, six nuts for those, three brackets for holding the motors, and screws and washers for those. Should have a project box for the controller, three film light canisters that we'll be using to waterproof the motors. Should also have four switches, two reds and two blacks, some red and black wire, some alligator clips, a fuse holder and fuse, and then we'll have a pipette, which we'll use for the waterproofing process, some zip ties, an H-beam, some black rubber sealant, some black electrical tape, some epoxy, and solder. We'll have some speaker wire that will be used for connecting to the battery, and of course our safety glasses. Now that you've seen all the parts, let's get started. The first step, as always, let's put on our safety glasses and take the ruler included in the kit and go ahead and measure out the lengths as noted in the manual. Mark them on the PVC and then take a tool and cut each of those parts. Now let's start assembling the frame. The diagram showing which parts go where is in the manual. And as you piece it together, you'll start to see the beginning of your Seaperch vehicle. Your manual is going to show you exactly how to put this together. Now that we've completed putting the frame together, we need to drill our vent and drain holes in the frame to allow the water to come in and out of the frame. It's amazing how much a little bit of air on the frame makes a big difference to the fact that it won't go underwater. To do that, we'll use a drill and drill a hole in each of the high points and low points in the frame. Start with the smaller 3 32nd drill bit and drill the hole. We'll go ahead and do that in all of the high spots and then we'll come back and drill the larger quarter inch hole in each of the pilot holes that we've given ourselves. Now, once we've done that in all of our areas, we'll take the larger drill bit and open up each one of these holes to allow better flow. By drilling the smaller holes first, we've ensured that the drill bit won't jump out and will be much safer to drill these holes. 